Wow, what a nice day. Oh my. Definitely gonna take advantage of it because here in the next day or two, uh, there's probably gonna be a few inches at the minimum of snow over everything, which is why today um, I'm spending some time and prepping the Cobra to endure the snowstorm that we're supposed to get. You know, this is definitely, um, without a doubt, my favorite car of the bunch. And I just wish I had the money to just finish this um, it, in terms of the, the body. You know, I have this this image in my head of what I want it to look like, but it's just, it's taken time to come together. And it's, the, the next steps is what's going to be very, very, very expensive. And that's, of course, having, I, I've decided that it's probably not best that I did it. And it was probably best to leave it up to a professional to prep all the panels here and the body for either paint or most likely a vinyl wrap. One of the things I'm not very good at, nor do I like doing, is body work. Anywho, uh, the car definitely needs to be driven. So today, uh, before it's going to probably sit for a week or two, we got to take it out for a drive. It's a nice day. Um, run it. And i got to go to Home Depot anyway and pick up a few things, mainly uh, to fix the sway bar yet again on this, but also to fix the, or try to redo the linkage on the Fox body Mustang to the shifter, the new ratchet shifter and the, the transmission. Cause I found that there's some issues there. Yeah. And I tell you, I just cannot win with this sway bar. So I think what's happening is the holes in it, probably about half inch, quite honestly. And the bolts I keep getting are smaller. So over time, um, through the vibrations and everything, it's moving down just a little bit. And what's happening is it's crushing the threads on the bolt and then it just slides out and or eventually breaks. And then the whole thing just falls down again. Well, hopefully this thing starts. Um, since I haven't been driving it, this little tiny battery that I've been using in it just doesn't stay alive. It's not going to. When you drive it regularly, regularly, God, I can't talk, uh, it's fine. But when you don't drive it, it drains really quick. There's no reserve capacity at all. It's a little lawnmower battery, so yeah. Uh, let's see if she starts. I don't think it's going to. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, no. All right. Oh, look, another Mustang. Actually, you know what? I probably should open the door first. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so my mind is like, all over the place. All right, let's take that cable there, put it there. Beautiful. All right. Man, birds are making a lot of noise. What's going on over there? Oh crap, there's like that tree over there is probably like 50 birds. At least they're enjoying the nice day too. I don't blame them. It ain't gonna be that nice for long. It's there. That goes there. Where the hell's the plug? Got it. All right, well, it ain't that bad, 11.6. Let's put it on the rapid charge. Give it a nice big boost. There we go. Let that go for a minute. Also, another thing I wanna do is Try this. Um, I've been having serious issues with belts squeaking on this car. I don't know if a pulley's slightly misaligned. I mean, nothing seems to be wobbling around. If anything, maybe it's the alternator pulley. I normally just, you know, start it up, put a little couple spritz of uh, WD-40 on there and it shuts it up. But um, hopefully, you know, some people say this is a Band-Aid product, but maybe. Uh, I can't figure that out. I replaced it with a quality belt and it squeaked like five minutes. And that's after cleaning the pulleys, replacing the belt, it still squeaked. So um, yeah, I don't care if it's a Band-Aid product or not. If it works, it works. I'm gonna try it out and see if it actually does anything and stops the squeaking. Also, another possibility is because they're, uh, you know, when it rains, 
the water doesn't really go on the engine, but a lot of moisture does get through because of the, the hood here. I want to make, and I've been meaning to do this, I just haven't got around to doing it. I wanted to make a uh, rain tray that just um, bolts to the inside here, maybe with like wing nuts or something. And that way it's removable and um, helps divert water away from the engine. But I'm just gonna give the car a minute here and let it charge up, see if it'll kick over. Maybe I'll get a cold start video on the exhaust side because who doesn't like to hear a nice Cobra four valve, four six fire up when it's really cold. So while I'm waiting to let the battery charge, which it should be mostly good now, but uh, went ahead and I sprayed everything down on the engine bay here and just wiped everything down. It was getting a little dirty. Let me tell you something. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I brought it out. Um, there's been a, a detail garage I opened up, which is basically the store for Chemical Guys products. And um, <laughs> this is the uh, Chemical Guys nonsense all-purpose cleaner. Oh my god. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, should start now. Let's get a cold start. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right way to use it, but I had to stop that. Holy crap, that was annoying. Well, I did shut it up, so eh, I guess it works. I guess we'll see how long it lasts. Usually the WD-40 lasts. Longer than that. <laughs> you notice that all that smoke there on startup? I guess it's to my understanding that it's the valve seals um, or the seats or something. Over time, on these, I guess, is another common quirk with the four valve four six is uh, they'll let oil seep through, and then when you start it up, blue smoke. If you drive it regularly, it doesn't do that. You let it sit for a little bit, it'll do that. But, uh, not a big deal, I guess. Looks like I need gas, too. Always need gas. Oh, man, I love this car so much. I just can't wait to get it done. I don't really have anything big planned um, yet with the engine and whatnot and the drivetrain. I'm definitely just going to rock it out, do small things here and there, but you know, perhaps in a far distant future, I'll maybe consider a uh, forced induction setup. But uh, as for now, I'm pretty happy with, with what I got. You know, the car's pretty balanced. It honestly could use. I feel like another 150 wheel horsepower, any more than that, and then you're going on, you're going to, the chassis is going to be unbalanced with the amount of power. I think the way the car is set up now, it could definitely easily handle um, another 150 wheel. Uh, that would be great. But the biggest thing I want to do with this car is just, I want it to make it look so different. I want this to be the car that you see and it's like, wow, when I would go out to car shows and whatnot, and it was the unique cars, the cars that were not the same as the others that caught my attention. They were the ones that I was most excited about. And you know, that's what I want to do with this. I don't want it to be like every other Mustang on the road. You know, that's why I have to make my own body parts that you can't buy at American Muscle or whatever, because generally if it's, if it's 
if it's out there, someone's already have it, has it, you know? Like if, if it's for sale, someone's bought it. But if you make it yourself, chances are no one's gonna have that, you know? So that's definitely the big thing about this car is just making it one of a kind, unique, no one else has it. This is the FOMO Cobra Cobra. You know, when people see this car, their immediate reaction is, oh man, there's FOMO, oh shoot. You know, that's just, that's, I want the car because these cars are an extension of me. So when you see this car, I want you to know that it is me in that car. Don't mistake me for um, X, Y, or Z, Tom, Dick, or Henry. You know, it is me in that car, no mistaking it. So we're definitely on the right path. It's just, it, this next step is going to be the most monetarily difficult step in the process here. Um, and that's kind of the that's kind of the hard part to figure out. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day. Thank you. you know me, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff right there, man. But this leads into a really big issue, okay, with the car and just the whole project here with the Cobra. It's, it's funny because the whole channel is really. Uh, meant to be started around this car and then I got the SHO because I needed a more reliable and, and comfortable daily driver um, So then pretty much when I started making content with the SHO, that's where I think I got a lot of my subscriber base from And not many people really care, you know, see this car too much or really care about it, which is kind of I don't know, it's like a bittersweet, I guess, because it's still my favorite regardless. Um, and I'm still gonna make content on it, but this is where the issue comes in, is I really wanted um, a really big following with this car because obviously having the monetary support of YouTube when that time comes is gonna be very helpful. Now, it's at the start, it's not gonna be much at all. It really isn't. And uh, you know, I'm lucky gonna be making $100 a month with YouTube. My views right now aren't enough to really generate any substantial amount of money, but any little bit will help. And I will be grateful for anything I can earn on YouTube. Um, and so that is the thing. I really need to wait, uh, you know, on this to get it to get it done right. And I'm not sure what I want to do and what direction I really want to go with it. So. And it, it really comes down to what's going to be the most um, cost-effective route to take with uh, the, the, the work. So um, obviously, there's only one thing I can do about the body work. You know, the body work, body work's body work, no matter what. But in terms of color, do I want to wrap it or do I want to paint it? Now, this is kind of where I'm torn because wraps are getting increasingly more expensive. Um, but the nice thing about wraps are if you get a scratch or whatever, you just replace that panel or that part of the wrap. You don't have to worry about too much. Although with paint, you could also just buff that part out if the scratch is bad enough. So whatever I get done on the outside of the car, I want it to be robust. I want it to be um, durable. And I know at that point, a wrap probably is a better option. It's just the cost of wraps is just getting really, 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 I said really a lot of times, but it's because it's expensive. You know, wrap used to be the affordable option to paint. Now you can, I mean, if you were gonna wrap your car in a solid color versus painting your car in a solid color, it would definitely be cheaper to have it painted, um, especially if it's already that color, you know? So it's not, it's not the, cheap wave in it that it used to be but uh, I'm not sure how many hours of work it will take to get the body straightened out it's those front fiberglass fenders first of all I have to find a shop that's actually willing to do the project you know um, it like I, I have a shop in mine there's a local body shop around here and I think they would definitely be more than happy enough to work with me and, and with the car um, so that will be okay. 
However, I don't know what they charge. I know a, a good body shop can is definitely in the hundreds for, for work, um, hourly work. And I have a minimum of 10 hours of work to be done. So, you know, $100 or $150 times 10, you know, every hour, 10 hours, that's, you know, we're already in the thousands just for body work. And that's really tough for me to swallow. I'm not a rich person. Um, you know, I have to watch my money very, very closely. And it's only because I've taken a lot of chances and gambles have I had the resources to do what I'm doing. So I still have to be very watchful over my money. And um, it's, it's still tough. It's like I almost kind of want the paint to be cheaper because the color that I really want on the car um, is like it's the newer it's a newer ford color it's a ford factory color dark persian green um i don't know all the vehicles you can find it on i know it does it's one of the uh, color options for the for the escape and that uh that color is so beautiful um but it's a metallic i know it's going to be an expensive color to put on the car if it's even available if i can't get that done uh you know if i can't get the color like that obviously the goal at that point is to find a wrap that's similar in color and th there are there are there are many wraps that are similar in color and um that uh i can get to replicate the color of dark persian green i don't know it's just it's all it's a it's a lot to think about and the thing is it's just i'm like spending my money before i even get it but i definitely want to know what i need to save up for what it's going to cost me um, because I need to prepare for it. But anyway, I hope you did like this vlog video here and update on the Cobra. Um, you know, I have a lot of things regardless uh, of the work done to the car here in the springtime, once it gets warmer, I definitely want to uh, get the draggy in the car and try to see what it can do in the quarter mile. Um, and that would be fun. You know, there's a lot of small things I still have planned here. And I still have the uh, intake adapter project that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, so there's a lot of small things still being done to the car, regardless of all the, you know, the big projects that's planned. So, you know, definitely keep a lookout for that. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.